Just 10 days ago, a rumor was circulating online suggesting that the Meteor Lake chips for desktops have been cancelled. This rumor came from Raichu, one of the prominent leakers PC hardware news websites frequently refer to. According to one of his older tweets, he was not sure if Meteor Lake S will get cancelled because when he says maybe, then there is no guarantee if his rumor is right or not. But on 21st Feb, he confidently said that Meteor Lake S is cancelled and now Intel is going to focus on Meteor Lake P instead which is made for notebooks. Now again another leak from a user named Leaf Hobby suggests that Intel is planning to launch Meteor Lake S for desktop but he has deleted his tweet. This report might not be 100% true but many news outlets have already started posting on it including Tech Power Up. According to the leak, Meteor Lake S is going to bring some new features. One of them is the addition of 4 PCIe 5.0 lanes from the CPU. This will make a total of 24 lanes from the CPU alone, where 16 PCIe 5.0 lanes will be dedicated to the GPU, 4 5.0 lanes for the primary M.2 SSD and 4 4.0 lanes for the secondary M.2. Another feature will be the Intel Wi-Fi 7 which has a total bandwidth of 5 Gbps. This is 5 times more than the bandwidth of Wi-Fi 6 which has a maximum speed of 1 Gbps. Now a few things to note here is that Meteor Lake S will be using the Z890 chipset which is supposedly going to use a brand new LG1851 socket. LG1851 will also be compatible with Arrow Lake CPUs that are planned to launch next year. Another weird thing in the leak shows that Meteor Lake S will also support Windows 12 OS. Now even though many are suggesting that it is just a placeholder, some reports say otherwise. Microsoft's head of consumer marketing recently told The Verge that as we start to develop future versions of Windows, we will think about other places where AI should play a natural role in terms of the experience. While we don't have an official statement from Microsoft about the next Windows operating system, I wouldn't be surprised if Microsoft releases Windows 12 in a few years which will depend on artificial intelligence for the most part. Now coming back to Meteor Lake CPUs, even if Intel launches them at the end of this year, I don't think that these CPUs will have a great appeal because the core combination is not impressive compared to what we have in Alder Lake and Raptor Lake CPUs. The max number of performance core count even on the flagship chip will only be 6 while the efficient cores will either be 8 or 16 depending on the chip model. Even though Meteor Lake CPUs are the first to feature a chiplet design and will replace Golden Cove with Redwood Cove performance cores, they won't be featuring a significant IPS uplift or even impressive clock speeds over the Raptor Lake. I think that the only two lower end chips with 6 plus 8 cores might look interesting to anyone who would want a decent gaming performance and later on they can upgrade to a better Arrow Lake CPU with two more performance cores. However, this still does not seem to be a good upgrade and users will probably be better off getting the Arrow Lake CPUs without investing in Meteor Lake initially. Now when we switch to AMD, it looks like AMD is trying to nerf its Ryzen 7040 Phoenix laptop CPUs before the launch. If you have been following this channel, you might remember that I recently made a video on how AMD messed up with the Mobile 7000 CPUs naming. I recommend that you watch that video before you even plan to buy a Ryzen 7000 based laptop. Also make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss any PC related hardware stories because currently it is crucial to understand what is going on with PC hardware these days and I don't want you to proceed to buy even a single piece of hardware without knowing everything about it. Now back to the story, AMD has done a terrible thing by reducing the GPU core clock speed of every Ryzen 7040 mobile CPU by 200 MHz. Ryzen 7040 mobile CPUs feature the Radeon 780M and the 760M iGPUs and as per the updated specs, all three 7040 CPUs have 200 MHz lower clock speeds for their integrated graphics. This is not the first time AMD has downgraded the specs of Ryzen 7000 CPUs because earlier it also dropped support for PCI. E5.0 for the Phoenix chips, even though AMD previously advertised that it will support the PCIe 5.0 when it revealed its roadmap. With continuous downgrades like this, AMD might face some serious troubles against Intel's Raptor Lake mobile CPUs because the latter is already looking dominant in CPU-oriented applications when we consider the latest benchmark leaks. 
Only if AMD can deliver good iGPU performance, it will stand out in the crowd like the Ryzen 7950X 3D, which delivers up to four times better performance with its iGPU than the non-3D edition. PC Mag recently compared the two processors with their integrated graphics, and even though they both have the same iGPU with two compute units clogged at 2.2 GHz, the 7950X 3D takes a lot of benefit from the extra L3 cache. When tested in four different games, the 7950X 3D delivered far better performance with its iGPU that delivers at least three times more performance at both 720p and 1080p resolutions. Even though it is still behind Intel's Alder Lake and Raptor Lake iGPUs, gaming on lower resolutions look possible. It should be kept in mind that the games were using the highest graphics presets, which ideally is not suitable for these iGPUs, but looking at the results, it looks like you can actually play games at 1080p with low settings with at least 30 plus FPS. Now I can only wonder how much performance will 7040 mobile mobile CPUs will bring to the table as they come with 8 to 12 core RDNA 3 based iGPUs with more than 2.5 GHz frequency. Do you think that it will be possible to play at 1080p high settings on Phoenix CPUs or will you still prefer going with a laptop featuring a discrete graphics card? Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. Also make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.